name is Ade Odunton from Oak Church, Ghana. Today we're going to be talking about God's protection over his people and that's from Genesis chapter 32. Jacob came to work for Laban while running for the monstrous rage of his twin brother who was Esau. Jacob was routinely cheated by Laban, eventually resolving to go back home along with his entire family. Unfortunately, this means coming back to face the same man, Esau. Jacob soon learns that each Esau is headed his way with about 400 men. And then what he was thinking of was, was he coming to kill me in revenge for the deceit in stealing Isaac's blessings 20 years earlier? So Jacob was afraid as a result of that. So he divided his large company into two camps and before he did that, he prayed earnestly to God for deliverance and he prepared a huge gift to appease Esau. Finally alone in the dark, he physically grappled with a mistress man who turned out to be God himself in some form. The same man called Jacob changed his name to Israel which means a blessing. Jacob met with God face to face. This encounter he had with God was very, very unique. He was the only person in the Bible who wrestled with God in human form. The event had a unique place in God's master plan of salvation and the history of God's chosen people, Israel. Jacob wrestled with God as a result of that, he was blessed by God. And sometimes, if we want God to bless us, we need to wrestle with him. What I meant by that was, we have to wrestle in prayer, clinging on to God's promises until they are fulfilled in our lives. That means, if we want our prayers answered, or we want God to bless us, or to bless our families, church, or our community, we have to be ready to wrestle with God. Daniel wrestled with God for three weeks and he wrestled with God in prayer. Abraham prayed like that, interceding with God for Sodom and Gomorrah. Moses also prayed like that and also David. So we had a lot of people who wrestled with God in the Bible. The early church prayed like that when they experienced persecution and God filled them afresh with the Holy Spirit. People prayed when Peter was in prison and God worked miracle so that Peter would be released and will continue to preach the gospel. So we need to, to learn to wrestle with God in prayer for his blessings. The trouble we have nowadays is that we want instant everything. We want instant information. We want instant food. We are used to picking up our phone or going online and having anything we can imagine delivered to our door. In this age of instant everything, a lot of people have forgotten what is it to work for things or to make time to make things with our hands. Today's world, we expect instant blessings. The reality is that we want God to bless us. We, were, we have to fight for it. If we want God to bless us, we have to fight for it. We have to really want it and be prepared to work for it. The same thing that Jacob did when he wrestled with God. So above all, we have to devote ourselves to seeking God's blessing. And when we've done that, we've got everything. When you prevail with God through his prevailing over you, he will take care of your problems and the enemies as well. So we need, we need to make sure we get very close to God. This was truly a defining moment in Jacob's life. He struggled with, with God, helped him to prevail over himself. Jacob learned that once we understand our sin and we deserve nothing from God, then God can beat us and change our lives. What is your crisis? 
as your crisis become the crisis of conviction? Have you been struggled with God over your pride? If so, surrendering to the God of mercy and grace brings about a magnificent defeat. Where with God, losing is winning. 